Hi everyone, today we would like to explain in this video about detailed confined space entry procedures, hazards and control measures. What is confined space, or definition of confined space? Any enclosed area which has the limited access and egress and it has deficiency and enrichment of the oxygen and it is not designed for continuous human occupancy. Examples of confined spaces. Like tanks. Manholes. Boilers. Furnaces. Sewers. Silos. Vaults. Pipes. Trenches, tunnels, vessels, pits. These are all examples for the confined spaces. Potential hazards in confined spaces. Limited access egress. Asphyxiation arising from gas, fumes, vapors. Deficiency and enrichment of oxygen. Drowning. Presence of flammable, combustible or pyrophoric material. Presence of toxic gases, corrosive or hazardous materials. Improper isolation. Electrocution. Poor illumination or ventilation. Lack of communication. Falling, tripping hazards. Presence of reactive or self-igniting material. High temperature and humidity. Lone working. Improper housekeeping. Confined space entry procedures. Permit must be procured from operations, making sure of the following, complete isolation of the space to be entered, draining, depressurization and purging or cleaning should be performed, gas test should be conducted to ensure no hazardous atmosphere is present, space ventilation. A pre-task meeting must be conducted with all authorized entrants prior to entering confined space. The attendant, standby man, shall be assigned at the entrance to maintain communication with employees working inside to ensure their safety. Safety attendant must be trained and authorized to use gas testing equipment. Entrants must wear body harness, and if necessary a lifeline be attached to the harness to avoid entry rescue. Maximum of 24 volts lighting should be used attached AGFCI. Depending on the situation, emergency rescue team available at if an emergency occurs within the confined space, the standby person must not enter it until rescue team arrive. Barricade the area with warning signboard. Make sure before entry into confined space. Isolate the confined space, ventilate the confined space, complete the permit requirements, test the inside confined space atmosphere, then enter the confined space. Must be isolate the space from all hazards. Close the valves like double block or bleed, or blank flange. Empty the space depressurize, vent or drain. Lock out, tagu equipment electrical sources rotating, reciprocating parts hazardous materials. Responsibilities of entrance. To assure that the space has been adequately ventilated, isolated, emptied, or otherwise made safe for entry. To immediately exit a space without question, upon word of the attendant, no matter what the reason. To follow all safety rules and procedures that apply to the job. To be familiar with the work to be performed and the procedures that apply to the job. To use the appropriate pay whenever necessary. Responsibilities of key person like attendant responsibilities. To monitor entrance during the job and during entry or exit to help ensure their safety, the attendant may not abandon his post for any reason while personnel are in the space unless relieved by another qualified attendant. To monitor atmospheric conditions in the space prior to and during entry. To control access to the confined space. To summon emergency assistance as needed. To assess hazards in and around the space and take action on the same. To keep records of confined space work such as air Test results. Responsibilities of supervisor. To ensure that adequate protection is provided to the entrance by verifying adequate lockout tagu and that all hazards are securely isolated to support the attendance authority in controlling access to a confined space to verify that all personnel have excited prior to closing the space to assure that all personnel involved are aware of the hazards associated with the space to assure that rescue services are available prior to entry 7. 